Thank you for listening to the Welcome Creative, to the Play, creative and Play and Podcast Network. Podcast Network. And Join us you enjoy as we our other shows, our such as RPGs, DVDs, Journey of Collectible Edition, Card Games, and Scion, MMOs, Ragnarok and Roll, Video Games, Scion Hero, PC Games, Ragnarok Story. And bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit Thank back for listening. and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion to Ragnarok Story and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hi guys, welcome back to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Oh, sorry, nope. It's RPG a Day 2016. So, today is August 6th. And that's the most amazing thing a game group did for their community. I want to do a shout out for a really great group that's out there that uh, every couple years they do one of these and it's pretty cool. On Facebook they're called D&D Charity Marathon. You just look them up under D&D Charity Marathon. They actually do fundraisers but while playing D&D. So let me go ahead and cover on their website how the rules go. So here's a few things you can do to help support them. One, get your own D&D team together. Join their team page, set up your own fundraising event, and raise money under the D&D Marathon banner for child.org. Two, share, like, talk about not just this page, but the donation links to this page. Get people visiting the fundraising page and donating. And three, donate yourself. We're staying up for 24 hours, and yes, it's a fun game, so I have to use my small brain for 24 hours straight. Wow, she's got a bigger brain than that. She's actually pretty good sounding when she games. Surely that deserves your support. Also, thank you for the the danger the poor players will face in 24 hours. If they hit 400 pounds, as I said, for every 50 pounds over, I will increase by an hour for up to 24 hours. So come on, get supporting, and make us all not sleep for 24 hours. And then it's got the link for child.org, which is uh, D&D Charity Marathon's charity of choice. I've actually... Oh, sorry. Frey is in the background. She found her squeaky squirrel, and she's chewing the crap out of it. Okay. And now Frey is bringing the squeaky squirrel to me. Hopefully she uh, gets distracted by something shiny. She's like Tilda. Easily distracted by shiny coins. So as I was saying, I was joking with uh, Mark from Tucson Games and Gadgets that we should actually do a D&D marathon of maybe... Each player play donates to play a character, and then we just we'd play a D and D game where it would be a grinder dungeon, which is basically meant to kill one in three people each room, <laughs> and have people donate to buy characters to play in the room, or donate to bring in characters, and see if maybe for uh, between Tucson Games and Gadgets and the Creative Playing Podcast Network, we can come up with, uh, probably using Twitter or uh, Facebook to find what charity you guys think we should support. So if there's any charity you know that you think we should support, go ahead and shoot us an email. And if we can work out having a 24-hour game session at the Tucson Games and Gadgets, we'll see what we can do. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get them to uh, donate a little proceeds for soda sales or something during the marathon. Let us know what charities you work for. And this is RPG a Day for August 6th. The most amazing thing a gaming group did for their community, which is D&D for charity. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. It is August 6th, so... Okay, Duncan is probably going to be the specialist to talk to this one. So, Duncan, for the RPG Day Challenge, what is the most amazing thing a game group did for their community? The most amazing thing a game group did for their community? Yep, that's a, it's a tough question. Um, well, not really a game group, but game stores. They give their community places for, for the individuals to come gather, or individuals with similar, similar interests to come gather and meet new people and hang out to 
um, helps develop camaraderie and and group. That's a good one. Group, would you call out and say did a great job for their community? We'll say, say Tucson Games and Gadgets. Tucson Games and Gadgets? Games and Gadgets. Yeah. Yeah. Tucson Games and Gadgets. You heard it here, folks. Tucson Games and Gadgets did, does great things for the community, which they actually have done some stuff for Rincon and things, and they're looking to do some further stuff once the new store opens. Cool. Okay, so guys, do you have anything to add in there of the most amazing thing a game group did for their community? No, no, it's not bad. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.